Hello everybody! I am Colorful Artie and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Chibi Robo. You've probably heard of Chibi Robo before, but he's appeared in several games, but no, no two of his games have ever been the same. This is the very first one. It was released for the Nintendo GameCube. And this is a game that I got for Christmas one year, and I had no idea what it even was, but I played it and it was super, super fun. And there's really no game like it. I can't really describe it. Uh, you're gonna figure out what it's like pretty quickly, but it's got really fun gameplay, it's a really charming game, and it's actually got a very good story, so I'm looking forward to this. Best way to show off what it is about is to just start playing it, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get going right now. It's a birthday party. Oh. Um. <laughs> I can't do women's voices, so maybe I'll just have the mom uh, be my voice, or maybe. Maybe I can get, like, my sister to record some of these lines, I don't know. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jenny. Here you go, I got this hat as a special present for me. For you. Uh, I got you this hat as a special present for me. Jenny, what's the matter? <laughs> Jenny, you're eight now. You can't run around in a frog costume all day. You need a real hat. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, Jenny. Woof, woof! <laughs> oh, got a present for her too, do you tell? <laughs> I love the dad, and the dad is probably the best character. <laughs> and that's the dog, Tao. Well, good dog! How did he wrap it? Read it, read it. Woof! <laughs> Alright, now it's my turn. You're just gonna love my gift, Jenny! <laughs> yeah, right. Blam! Oh! What is that? You know we can't afford! But Jenny says she wanted one. Ribbit. Oh, honey, you're not fooling anyone. You only wanted one for yourself. No, no, calm down. We'll talk about this later. What do you think, Jenny? You love it, right? Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, Chibi It's almost showtime. I don't really know what to do for Telly's voice. <laughs> what do you think? Should I flip the switch? Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> All right. Get ready to Robo. Wow, that turns down the lights in the actual house when he like flips it. It looks like a rice cooker. It really does. This is a fancy birthday feast. They've got like sparkling drinks. They've got like a whole roast chicken. And this is us! Chibi Robo. Japanese for little robot. Most people know him as a costume from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate though. Yay! Chibi Robo! <laughs> the mom does not look pleased. Hello, hello! Hello there! Ribbit, ribbit. We're here to make you happy! I'm Telly, and this here is Chibi Robo! Amazing! Ribbit. Woof, woof! Oh! Hey, is this a birthday party? You got that right! Uh-oh, Chibi Robo? It looks like we've come to the party empty-handed. We are the present. <laughs> you don't need to give people presents if you yourself are a present. <laughs> we need to find a present for Jenny and Fast! Oh! 
How about that flower, Chibi Robo? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> yeah! Well then, I'll leave the rest to you, Chibi Robo. So this is like a... I won't say a free platformer, because there's not a whole lot of platforming to be done, but it is a free game that you walk around. And, oh, look at that cake. That cake is delicious. I think Mrs. Sanderson made this cake. You can't eat anything anyway, Chibi Robo. Oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh! If that if you move next to an object and you see the exclamation icon appear, uh press A. Hey babe, how you doing? <laughs> really? I can't believe you would spend all our moolah like that. <laughs> yeah, the currency in this game is called moolah, and it's fantastic. Talk to Jenny. Yeah. I don't want to fall off the table. Ribbit, ribbit. That's Tao's bone. When I pass away one day, I hope my bones rest under a famous stage. Oh! Wait, I don't even have bones. Oh! To climb something, tilt the control stick in the direction you want to climb. Alright. Uh, can I talk to the dog? Woof, woof! Hey now, what are you up to? Oh, wow. There's money! <laughs> There's money! We got ten money. Oh, we can't run off the table. That's good. Looks like chicken is on the menu tonight. That is a nicely looking chicken. That's a nice looking chicken. Chicken! That's a word that brings back some really bad memories for me. Oh! But maybe now isn't the time to talk about that. <laughs> I love the little, like, Banjo-Kazooie, like, animal gibberish that they talk in, like, the twiddle da twiddle da So that gives me kind of an idea of what voices they would have, but also, I can't do Telly's voice. Anyhow. So, you can't, there's no jump button instead, so like, if we want to climb this plate, we just have to move into it. And you saw that meter? If you keep moving into it until the meter is full, you'll jump up it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's amazing! Jenny! Ribbit. Oh, you think that's amazing, dude? Watch this. Rose. <laughs> Hot! Diggity! Dog! That's awesome! <laughs> Someone needs to make that into a GIF, please. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> wow. Excellent! Chibi Robo, Chibi Robo! You should try using your Chibi Copter. It comes standard in all Chibi Robo models. All you have to do is equip it. You can't fly upwards with it, but... Listen to this! You can use it to slowly fall from high places. That way you won't hurt yourself. Press X to open the equip screen. To left or right to select the Chibi Copter, then press A to equip it. Oh, and if you hold down A, you'll hover horizontally for a short time. It's handy when you want to fly over small gaps or drop from high places. Hey, listen up, Chibi Robo! Use the Chibi Copter, okay? <laughs> Why the big font? I don't want you to take a nasty fall. When you want to put the Chibi Copter away, just press B. Yeah, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, so, for any like platforming, you're gonna need the Chibi Copter. And fall damage in this is a very, very real thing. So, the Chibi Copter is very, very useful. Alright. Hey, Jenny, we got you a birthday present that we didn't actually get ourselves and you already had, but we get, we're giving it to you. Ribbit. Chibi Robo, Chibi Robo! Give the rose to Jenny! Yes! So these are our important items list, so we select the rose. <laughs> Aw, she blushed. That's cute. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. You got 20 happy points. You got 120 moolah. Wow, Jenny is loaded. Holy cow. <laughs> Spread the happiness. Earn happy points and moolah by making people happy. Of course, earning lots of happy points will raise your Chibi Robo ranking. Let's do our best to get you into first place! 
<laughs> now that we've handed out presents, it's time for Jenny to blow out the candles, which we've already had lit on the cake for like 20 minutes now. <laughs> it's amazing that the candles are still lit and that the wax hasn't melted all over the cake. <laughs> all right. One, two. Happy birthday! Ah, it's such a cute opening. So this is a mostly pretty lighthearted game. There are some serious moments in it. <laughs> but this is this is a very great game, and they kept on partying until late into the night. <laughs> this game is so fantastic. I, I can't stress enough how fun this game is. Even if it doesn't look that fun to play, it's very fun to play yourself. Good work, Chibi Robo! You looked a bit nervous at first, but you came through like a pro. Also, if my television... I'm gonna listen to the recording afterwards, so if my television voice is really annoying, which I have a feeling it might be, I'll, I'll change it. So please don't worry about that. Now listen, we need to make ourselves useful to the Sandersons, right? Okay then. Let's adjust your happy point total. Your Chibi ranking has gone from... 1 million to 778,810! In order to get the next bonus batter, you need 60 more happy points. Get out there, earn a ton of happy points, and grab it to yourself the top Chibi ranking. When you reach the top Chibi ranking, why? You'll be upgraded to Super Chibi Robo! Take it from me, Television! I'll do what I can to let you hand! The Television. I, I love it. So fantastic. You can count on me! Oh! Well, while you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to say it? I'm gonna say... No. I'm not going to save until the end of episodes, and I'm gonna try to keep... Use all three files, so that way, if an episode fails to record, I can re-record it. That's my goal. I'm sure you know that you can save anywhere by plugging into any old outlet in the house. But don't forget, you have to come back to the Chibi House to adjust your happy points. So get out there and grab some happy points! Maybe you'll make Super Chibi Robo yet? Let's go! Alright. So you see that battery down there, the 800? That's our battery, so every time you move around when you're outside of the Chibi House, you're, or do anything, you're gonna constantly be having your battery drain. So you need to plug in and recharge before it gets too low, otherwise you collapse. So that's kind of the gimmick of the game, and also we can access the PC here. Welcome to the Chibi PC. So this is the Chibi PC, this is where we can buy stuff. So there's the online shop and the Recyclotron. We can't use the Recyclotron yet because uh, we need scrap and we don't have any scrap. However, well, online shop only requires Moolah. So we can buy a lot of stuff here. So the first three, frame, three things, these are timer 5, timer 10, and timer 15. These determine how long the days are. So right now we have timer 5, which means there are 5 real life minutes for every day in the game. And this, uh, so cause it's night time right now, so it's constantly going to be, like, have a night meter draining after 5 minutes of actual gameplay. It'll drain and then you'll go to daytime and then 5 minutes in the day goes to nighttime. Timer 10 gives you 10 minutes and timer 15 gives you 15 minutes. The first thing I like doing is buying timer 10. Uh, timer 15 for the first night is too much, and you're, you're gonna, well at least if you've played it before, you're gonna run out of stuff to do. If it's your first time playing, go ahead and buy timer 15, it's super cheap. And after the first night, I'm gonna buy timer 15 and we're never gonna go back. Next thing is pink flower seed, blue flower seed, and white flower seeds. So these are just generic flower seeds. You can plant them and grow them once you get the right equipment, and you can give them out to people, and you get a lot of happy points for that. But we can't really do anything with that yet. There's the nectar flower seed. This is a special flower that will grow a nectar flower, which you can suck nectar out of, again, later in the game. It's more on the expensive side, but we'll be needing that later. There's the Chibi Blaster, which is expensive, but it basically gives us a gun that we can shoot things with. There's the Hot Rod, which is a car. So you know how in the movie Stuart Little, Stuart Little had like a toy car that could, would actually drive? Well, we, we kind of get the same thing, but trust me, it's not what you're thinking. You don't just get to jump in the car and drive around wherever you want. It's literally just used for one minigame. Then again, there's the Space Scrambler, which is kind of like the car you get in your own flying machine, but again, it's only used for one minigame. So I'd recommend not buying those until like you've bought everything else. So we're just gonna buy Timer 10. Thank you for your visit. Timer 10. I love that <laughs> sound. 
So yeah, you can see the moon at the top with the five. That's gonna upgrade to a ten. Ten minutes. Also, so our main job as Chibi Robo is to pick up trash. Our, we are a cleaning robot. So Television, uh, he threw out these party poppers to celebrate us getting here. We're gonna pick those up. Popper trash. Always put refuse, refuse in a proper receptacle. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. My bad. Yes, Tully, it is your bad. It is very much your bad. Good work, Chibi Robo. Jenny sure did like that flower. Now let's go outside. Oh! Walking around drains your battery, so keep an eye on your energy. If your battery starts to run out, plug into an outlet and recharge. Thank you. The living room. <laughs> <laughs> the dad fell asleep on the couch. Oh, Mr. Sanderson, tsk, tsk, tsk. He had a little too much fun at the party. I think he passed out from excitement. <laughs> oh! But right now I need you to look at the top of your screen. You'll see a sun symbol during the day and a moon symbol at night. The moon is out right now, so that means it's nighttime. Let's collect those happy points and try to get to Super Chibi Robo status. Let's go! Stop throwing trash on the ground. Oh, what the heck is going on over here? <laughs> um. Dear Diary, tonight I'm in my usual spot. Head in the living room, body in the kitchen. Tom neglected me again. Typical. He usually drops me right over there. But tonight he was lazy and now I can watch Drake while he patrols. Oh, it's so hard to watch him, that knight in shiny armor. <sighs> oh, Drake, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Perhaps you were on love patrol? <laughs> this is terrible. This is why I can't voice female characters. Deep! Hey, are you looking at my diary? Stop it! Oh, what a cat! Oh, who are you? Hey now, what's all the racket? Whoa, what in the... That toy is talking! The, that's just how things work in this house. Isn't that how it works everywhere? <laughs> really? Whoa, that's a bit of a shocker. So I take it there are other toys? Oh, how rude of me. My name is Television, and this is Chibi Robo. My name is Sophie. Well, we're pleased as punch to meet you. I was just writing in my diary and I thought you were trying to peek. You scared me. Uh, no worries, happens all the time. Chibi Robo is small, so it's easy for him to sneak up on you. Please allow me to apologize on his behalf. We're both sorry if we startled you. Well, as long as you didn't read about my secret passionate love for Drake Redquest. <laughs> Drake Redquest, it's fine. <laughs> Say, why doesn't Chibi Robo apologize himself? Ha! Huh, I'm very glad you asked. Apologizing is a vital component of the manager's work. You're his manager? Seriously? Wow, that's kind of weird. Hold on, I need to record this moment so I don't forget. <laughs> I love how I went from trying to do a female voice to just being like, oh wow, that, that's like a high-pitched Owen Wilson voice. <laughs> Every voice I do eventually can be traced back to Owen Wilson's. Girls and their diaries. This could be a while. I guess I'll be leaving. Oh man, Telly's voice is killing my voice. Yeah, so this is kind of Toy Story. The toys come to life when the humans aren't around. So we just met the dog toy, Sophie. Waste paper. Oh, he's been refused in a proper receptacle. So this is trash we're picking up. We can hold ten of each type of trash before we can't hold anymore. Then we gotta throw it out in the real trash can. So yeah, as you can see, the battery is draining. And uh, picking up trash and throwing it in the trash can gives you happy points. And moolah, so you want to do that. So what's kind of cool is like, it's a fairly small house, but because we're so small, it's, it's pretty big. Oh, what the heck is this? What's that? Also, you notice the cutscene where we talked to Sophie, it didn't drain any of our time. Like I said, it's only it's 10 full minutes of actual gameplay. 
Hey, look at that! It's Mr. Sanderson's toothbrush. But let's take it anyway! I bet he won't miss it. <laughs> I bet he doesn't brush his teeth anyways. <laughs> Now that we have this nifty device, I bet you can clean all sorts of stains. Lucky you! I hope Mr. Sanderson really doesn't mind we take his toothbrush. Also, holy cow, that is a tiny toothbrush! Compare the size of the toothbrush to the size of his hand. That is minuscule. Maybe that's like his toothbrush for his retainer or something. I don't know. Press X to open the equipment menu. Select the toothbrush with control stick and use A to hold it. If you want to put the toothbrush away, just press B. Oh! And look, there's a stain right by your foot! Why don't you give it a good scrub? Yeah, you can tap the A button to clean up stains like that. Yes, that's it! You've got the hang of it! And cleaning up stains, again, on Princess Happy Points. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I won't do it again. Look at that must- the mustache is like on a hinge. That's fantastic. What is this? Chibi Robo! Oh, it's just a sticker that someone put over the cracked window. If you shoot that with the Chibi Blaster, I bet you can go outside. But breaking windows won't make Mrs. Sanderson happy at all. So yeah, someone like cracked the windows like, I'll just put this teddy bear sticker over it. No one will know. So often to get up to high places, you'll find these drawers. We can hold the A button and then pull the drawer out find money in the drawers. And again, pull the drawer back as far as you can. The ones that are higher up won't pull out as far, so they'll make nice little staircases for you. What's this? Candy wrapper? Man, these people are slobs. There's trash everywhere. Always put refuse in a proper receptacle. More trash. People are just like... I'm not sure if these waste papers are like... I'm not sure if the waste papers are like someone drew on it and then just crumble it up, or if like these are like used Kleenexes, like, <laughs> and then they just crumple it up and leave it on around. I hope it's the first one. All right, so there's a gap here. We'll use the TV counter if we hold the A button. We can hover across. And this is a freaky looking door right here. This is a chibi door. So these contain all money inside them. And in order to open them, we pick up our plug, put it in here, and give it a twist. And that takes uh, 10 of our battery power. So you can see it just went down from 40 to 30. And the little, the it looks like 301 right now, it's actually 30.1. What's this, a small door? That's odd, I have no info on it in my memory banks. So we go inside. Chief, you're your battery's running low. Uh-oh. If your body starts to flash red, plug into an outlet, quick. Okay, so there are three different types of money in the game. Pink money is worth 10 moolah. Uh, silver money is worth 50 moolah, and then gold money is worth 100 moolah. Are you okay? Yeah. I see, I wonder what that was. Oh well, nothing to worry about. dum de dum de dum Hey, since the small door has your eyes, let's call it a cheapy door. Alright, so now we're running low on power. So we need to find an outlet. A good way to find an outlet, you can press the R button. And it kind of gives you an overhead map of the room, so you can see we're in the upper right, and we're facing a shelf, and behind the shelf is an outlet. So... Go back here. Bada beam, bada boom, we got an outlet. Whew, that was close! Your energy is full! Are you going to save? No. Ready? Then let's go. I'm gonna try to make every episode, every video a single day or night. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So first night is gonna be a little shorter than the other nights because it's only a time or ten, but we also have the intro cutscene, so it should kind of all even out. Well, of course, episodes that have lots of lots of cutscenes are going to be longer. It's just the nature of the beast. Also, I should mention, if you pick up your plug, you will move faster because you don't have your plug uh, dragging on the ground. But it also means if you have to pick something up, you gotta drop the plug, and that can take a while, so... Yeah, so free silver coins, 50 each, so we just got 150 bucks. Hopefully by the end of the night we'll be able to have enough to get the Chibi Blaster. Alright. Dogs have been walking around. Gotta clean these up.
That's creepy. <laughs> huh? That's odd. I think the TV just turned on all by itself. It's amazing that the dad hasn't woke up, woken up from it yet. Also, scrubbing with the toothbrush, as you can see, drains our battery a lot faster than just walking. So be, be on the lookout for that. Chibi Robo! All of your hard work has made Mrs. Sanderson happy, happy, happy! You see, she's given me a bunch of bonus happy points in Moolah. And when you clean enough, I can give you a nice little cleaning bonus. Your happy point bonus is... Eight happy points. And your Moolah bonus is... 22 Moolah! Well, Jenny gave me like six times that much for uh, just giving her a flower, so... And just your very presence makes everyone happy, happy, happy! Yeah! <laughs> Uh -oh. Running a little low on power. Gotta get all the money though. Oh, this is <laughs> that's kind of weird. Let's pick this up. Frog rain. So that's a special item. That's not a piece of trash. That's like an actual item we can use in various areas. So like the rose we gave the rose to Jenny, well maybe we can get the frog ring to Jenny as well. She seems to like frogs. Alright, let's, let's pick up this coin. And then plug her in. Whew, that was close. Not really. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, tell you it's really not all that close. Ready? Let's go. Alright, let's check out the mystery of the TV turning on all by itself. So confused. So conflicted. People say evil. People say justice. But what is justice? And what is evil? Do I truly fight on the side of justice? Or am I just a fool? A blind fool? No! I fight on the side of justice! Those who think they can disturb the peace can get a taste of my space fury! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! I try to make the voices match their text sound. Ah, Drake Redcrest, you devil! You're still as sharp as ever! He looks like a chicken. If you're not looking at his face, he really looks like a chicken. He's got, like, the beak and the eyes. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Good morning, Chibi Robo! What's this? No answer, eh? Space Hunter Code Part 1, greet everyone by yelling! Hmm, perhaps you have been shocked into silence by the sight of toys moving? Do not be afraid, friend. The toys in this house move and speak when humans aren't around. Enough talk. It bores Drake Redcrest. Let us be friends, O oh diminutive one. As a friend, it is my duty to inform you that your life appears to need more justice. But Drake Redcrest can solve that problem. Take this special gift. It's just for you. <laughs> I feel like this is a terrible voice for him. Drake Redcrest suit. Should I give him more of like the masculine voice? <laughs> like, shall I show you how to don it, friend? That doesn't match his text sound at all, though. Granted, the voice I'm doing also doesn't match the sound I'm doing at all. I I'm confused. <laughs> shall I show you how to don it, friend? Uh, sure. We need the tutorial. Your honesty is noble and must be rewarded. Therefore, Drake Redcrest. Drake Red Crest. Drake Red Quest. Uh, shall teach you. First, press X to open the equipment menu. If the chibi gear on the top bar is selected, simply tilt the control stick down. Down, I say. Doing so will let you access your suits. After that, just select the suit that you want by pressing left or right. Shall I explain it again, friend? No, I got it. Yeah, so in addition to, like, tools we have to, uh, we can use, we also get costumes. And these costumes aren't just, like, 
decorative, they, they actually do play a role. So it's kind of cool. Ha 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 ha! You are a smart one! We shall meet again, but for now, we ride! If you are ever interested in achieving justice, wear that and speak to me! We shall learn the facts of justice together! Okay, sure. I'm game. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Ha 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 ha! It looks good on you, little man! So, you wish to fight for truth and justice, eh? Don't lie, Drake Redcrest knows these things! Yeah, heck yeah, that sounds great. Ha 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 ha! That, my friend, is a specialty of mine! You just sit back and enjoy the ride! There's trash on the ground! We must pick it up! <laughs> Hold! Stand your ground! Very well, my small metal friend! I will now administer the test of justice! It will be long, hard, and arduous, but you must endure no matter the cost. Ready? Then we ride! Mark my words, mark them well! Space Hunter Code Part 2! True justice cannot exist without a pose! <laughs> These are weird rules. You'll never be an agent of justice unless you master this! Hold, friend! You must be the one known as Television! Whoa! How did you know my name? Ha 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 ha! That's Justice 101, my flying metal friend! Wow! That's impressive! But we're about to enter dangerous skies here, so we must fly back! Are you ready? Here is the skinny! When I start to pose, press Z immediately! Ha 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 ha! Easy as pie, right? Sure. You can do it, Chimurama! And we ride! Justice! Oof, I failed. Too slow, too slow, curses and blast! Let us try again! Justice! Oh, oh, I didn't know we were trying to, like, right then. No, by the flaming gas of clouds of Titan, no! Make sure that you press Z! Justice! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Wow, that's fantastic! You're the best, Jimmy Robo! Ha ha ha! Stupendously done, Jimmy Robo, even though it took you free choice. Okay, yeah, from this angle, doesn't Drake Redcrest look like a chicken? Like, this, the blue, yellow, and red symbol on the side of his head looks like an eye, and then his, like, visor looks like a beak. <laughs> He's a chicken man. <laughs> I mean, Space Hunter Robo. I am now proud to appoint you as the universe's 99th Space Hunter. Huzzah to you, Space Hunter Robo! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest just gave you 19 happy points! And you got 100... Dane! Is Drake Redcrest as a toy, like, stealing money from the Sandersons? This is kind of weird. Spread the happiness! Chibi Robo! The Master Drake Redcrest Z action! Let's show everyone what you can do with it! When you wear this, think of justice! See you around, Hunter! Thanks. Yeah, so now we can press Z to do our pose, which can have a various effect on people, but also it does take quite a bit of battery to use. I think it takes like 50 battery or 100 battery to use. Not, no. I think it takes 5 or 10 battery power to use, because like, yeah, sorry. Cookie crumbs? Who's wrapping these? <laughs> always put refuse in a proper receptacle. All right, sure. You can always count on me. <laughs> keeps dropping these cookie cr Oh wow, more- Man, the dog just tracks mud everywhere, doesn't he? Oh yeah, you also- <laughs> If I was on the carpet, it wouldn't let me mop up the paw print. You have to be on the exact same level as it. Cleaning bonus time! Woohoo! Your happy point bonus is... Nine happy points! And your moolah bonus is... Twenty-four moolah! Just your very presence makes everyone happy, happy, happy. All right, that's that's great, Telly. Or just throwing sticks in the house? What is the what's the world coming to these days? Twig. Oh, he's put refuse in a proper receptacle. Yeah, every time you find a new piece of trash, he always says that. 
Even if it's like the same piece of trash but has a different like 3D model for it, he'll still say it for the like. Ah. It's it can get auto annoying, but it's not too bad. All right. I think at this point we should probably throw some stuff. Oh wait, first we'll pick up the candy wrappers, then we'll throw stuff out. So yeah, as you can see, we're almost halfway done with the night, just because all these cutscenes are not counting. Yeah, we move. We do move slightly faster with the plug in our hands. It might not. You might not see it all that much, but it. But it is noticeable, especially when you go long distances. Lob it in with A. Three twigs. That's right. You can also get happy points by throwing garbage away. That's a lot of waste paper. That's a lot of party poppers. You got a total of 33 happy points. You got 330 moolah! <laughs> Man, they're paying us a lot to just pick up their own trash. These people are slobs, or at least the dad is. The dad's the only one in this room, so maybe he's just for all the stuff on the ground. Like, gee, Robo will clean it up. No need for me to bother myself. <laughs> but again, the dad is a fantastic character. This game has really quirky and fun characters. So you have a deep, passionate, secret uh, crush for Drake Redcrest, right? Look who it is, babe! Beep! Beep! Oh my gosh, Drake! Drake Redcrest? Is that really you? Uh... Yeah! <laughs> um... Uh, so I don't mean to be rude or anything, but aren't you a little smaller than usual? I'm not sure that you are who you claim to be. I need proof. Show me your pose. Only Drake Redcrest can do that particular pose. <laughs> Alright, so now when we've got the exclamation point icon, we press Z. Wham! What, what was that sound? That handsome sound? Drake? Drake Redcrest? Oh my gosh! I'm, 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 you patrol really good. Ah, oh, Sophie, no, that was so stupid! Ah! Oh, yeah. What's up with her? Oh, well, now we can go into the kitchen. Yeah, she's blocking the door to the kitchen. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Look at how much energy the pose took. It took, like, 20 or 30 battery power, actually. Oh, okay, well, there's an outlet right inside the kitchen. Whew, that was cool. Okay, you were right, Tell you that was close. You're fully recharged. Are you going to save? No! Ready then, let's go! Kablunk. Also, for some reason, the nighttime music just cuts out after a certain amount of time, but the daytime music does not. I don't know why. Maybe it's to illustrate that it's now, like, late at night or something? Oh well, never chibi door. Also, one thing, uh, you can tell you've already been inside a chibi door if its eyes are closed. If its eyes are open, it's a new one, so go inside. Don't go inside, though, if its eyes are uh, closed, because there will be no money inside, and you'll just waste battery power. Man, the dog is... The dog is dirty. Also, I love the guitar music that plays when you <laughs> use a toothbrush to clean up dogs, uh, dogs uh, dog paw prints, or anything for that matter. The dog was eating cookies, apparently. I'll drink red crust. You look at me too much. Why do you keep gazing at me from afar? Please, you must stop looking at me now. Yeah, she's weird. I mean, I don't- I know Judge not and all that, but like, no, that- that's- that's weird. We can also remove the suit. Because if you talk to people when you're wearing the Drake Redcrest suit, they'll basically treat you like your Drake Redcrest. Or in Drake Redcrest's case, they'll treat you like you're a space hunter and not like your GD Robo. So this game might be kind of boring to watch because it's basically just, I clean up stains and pick up the garbage. Oh, 
one. Here we play. How much can I clean up before I really need to plug in? Oh boy. Will we be able to make it to the outlet plug? <laughs> yeah, we will. So at the beginning of the game, it's very annoying because you just constantly have to recharge. But here's the thing, as you get more happy points and your ranking increases, you get a, a higher battery capacity. So that's one reason to actually go out of your way to like clean up stains and pick up trash and stuff. Also, you don't have to pick up your plug, you can just run away from the outlet. So we can't go up there because the sticker is... Uh, we're apparently not strong enough to peel stickers off. Also, one thing I haven't shown off is if you press Y, you go into first person mode, and you can see, basically, you can get a 3D look on the place. You can also see important items you can pick up. So we got another frog right up there. There's a spoon, a mug, dog tags, and a bandage all in this room. All of those are important items that if you pick up, you can, uh, well, use for various things. I don't think there's anything up here. Nope. So because we only fell short distances, we didn't take any fall damage, but if you fall from pretty much any far, any higher than that, you're gonna actually lose quite a bit of your battery life. So, just, just be careful of that. I think there's like one last thing we can probably do tonight. We can climb up here. Actually, there's a couple things. We can also climb up to the couch. But we can also do that in the daytime. Say, I think you can climb up that cord. All right, sweet. Blunk. We're gonna just top off our energy because uh, it does take quite a bit of energy to get up there. Your energy is full. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Thanks, Telly. What is that hissing sound? I don't know. Oh, here's something interesting. So these blocks you'll see lying around, if you can push them off from a high ledge, they'll break into like a giant happy point you can pick up. It's okay. It's really not all that worth it. Especially if, since the happy points can be tough to pick up. Oh, oh. And that's why you want to watch out and not fall from high places. We were lucky it wasn't that high, but basically any higher and you're probably going to just instantly... Um, Chibi-Robo, did you just hear that totally weird sound? That sound is creepy. I must admit, that sounds really creepy. I heard a strange noise coming from the far side of the foyer. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, why did they have to make the sound so creepy? Not only that, but it'll also just like randomly play throughout the game, like interrupt you. It's very frightening, actually. <laughs> One of the creepiest sounds in a video game, if I might be, uh, if I might be so candid. Yeah, we can climb up the books to get up to the couch. And we're about to end the day. <laughs> the dog and the dad are both sleeping on the couch. That's actually kind of cute. Alright, this is, I believe, a very, very precise hover. But you can get on the table from there. Uh-oh. Cookie box. <laughs> Always put refuse in a proper receptacle. Those look like those boxes of shortbread cookie. Oh man, I love me some shortbread cookies. They're simple, but they're very good. You know, I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> if you stand stock still, you barely 
drain your energy. I'm just gonna stand here until the day ends, because when the day ends, you just warp instantly. Oh, hi, Drake Redcrest. <laughs> He's like, yes! Come on, stop playing that sound. That strange sound is coming from the far side of the foyer again. Maybe some people are like, it just sounds like someone's practicing the tuba in there. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, Chigurabo's idle animation actually drains his energy faster, so that's kind of awesome, but also kind of terrible. Chigurabo! Way to go! I think we can call it a day! I'm proud of the work we've done! Oh, the night is ended! Let's return to the Chibi house! So right now, I'm not really sure about any of the voices I've given the characters, except for uh, Jenny and the dad. <laughs> Television might change, Sophie might change. Oh, good morning! The Drake Redcrest might change. That's a just a happy point, Tomo. Your Chibi ranking has gone from 778,810 to 41,500 for making it into the top 100,000. Citrusoft has sent you a special gift, a brand new bonus battery. Whoa, would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 100. Yeah. Even that little difference is going to help out a good amount. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 42 more happy points. If you ever reach the top of the rankings. That looks no different from me right now. <laughs> well, maybe I'm speaking too soon. I don't want to get your hopes up, but... You'll be upgraded to the super luxurious, super cheap robo. Or, that's what I've heard. Once you earn that, the girl boss won't be able to leave you alone. And isn't that what it's all about? <laughs> Not only will you, you'll, yeah, you'll be doing like a great service to your family, you're gonna be making a lot of people happy, but most importantly, the girl bots are gonna be all over you. <laughs> Is Chibi Robo interested in girl bots? Chibi Robo has like no personality because he's very, he doesn't talk. But <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, this game's great. Uh, we would, yes, we would like to save. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Color Farty. I hope you tune in for this Let's Play. It's, it starts out fairly slow, but we're going to meet more characters. They're pretty quirky, and this actually this game does actually have a pretty great story. Like, you're just kind of figuring out what's going on with the family, like, what's going on with the toys coming to life. Like, there's a lot to this game, and it's so much fun, and I strongly recommend playing it, even though this game is really expensive now. There are a lot of cheap Rebel games, but they all play totally differently, and this is the best one that I've played. Anyhow... Tune in next time, I hope to see you then, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.